Privacy is fundamental to the human experience. It's necessary for democracy. I think it's necessary for liberty. And people often say, if I'm not doing anything wrong and I have nothing to hide, why should I care? You care because you're a person. It's about having control of our own life. We do nothing wrong when we sing in the shower or write a love letter and then burn it. You're on the phone with a friend and you say something about politics or the president or, or something. And then some, one of you says, God, I hope the NSA wasn't listening. And you laugh because it's funny. But you know, your conversation changes. Because in the back of your mind, you're not sure. And that's what happens. If we're observed in all things, we become different people. We lose our freedom, we lose our creativity, we lose our liberty. I am a child of this land, searching for freedom. We are 100% moving towards a full surveillance society, right? More and more of our lives are surveilled. We don't know how we got onto the watch list. We don't know who was watching us. This is a very scary technology if used improperly. From what I saw, that was far more extensive and far more intrusive than they were letting on. That's why I called it Orwellian. Do people who live in this country have the right to be free from government surveillance, from government spying? Or are we not? And we're moving toward a surveillance society, not just in terms of government, but in terms of a hundred other databases that we're all subject to, whether it's street crime cameras or shopping cards that record our purchases. A lot of people talk about the balancing of privacy and security. They have to give up some privacy to get more security. That's just not true. It's not a balance. You don't give up privacy and get security. You give up privacy and you lose security. NSA is the National Security Agency. It's the largest and most secret intelligence agency probably in the world. It's about three times the size of the CIA and costs about three times as much. The difference is the CIA sends human beings out, spies, to uh, go around the world and try to develop sources and get human information. Human intelligence is what they call it. NSA is electronic. It tries to get electronic information, telephone calls, email, data transmissions, anything that goes through the air, faxes. And it intercepts the communications with satellites and ground stations and a whole variety of antennas. And then once it gets that, it sifts it through huge supercomputers to try to pick out individual names or individual telephone numbers or individual words. Well, for the first time in 30 years, it was discovered that the NSA was engaged in uh, eavesdropping involving Americans, uh, a, a great deal of Americans. For 22 and a half years, I worked at AT&T. The final office was Folsom Street, which is where I ran into the NSA. I got hold of these documents. The documents showed that they were basically tapping into and making copies of the data flow on the Internet. This document confirms how the data that's going across the internet line is being split. They had cut into the data flow and were sending copies of the data to this secret room here. I was expected to connect new circuits. I had to connect it up. I was the guy who made it work. Across these links, billions of bits of data go across every second. So if you add that up in a day, you can be sure there's millions of messages going through there. That doesn't mean they keep it all, but it means they have access to it all. This is the equipment list that goes along with the project. And what really got me going was when I examined the list. Down here, you'll see there's a NARIS STA-6400. That struck me as odd. I didn't know what it was. And when I started to research that, I found out Sure enough, this is not only useful for spying, it is being used for spying. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. 
Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs. Programs that connect you to the world.